Good morning, modern steaders. It's 17 degrees out, and they're calling for a little bit of snow today. But look at this winter wonderland we're in right now. Bam! Look at that. It is so beautiful. We'll get Pluto in the shot. Pluto. 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 Look at me. She don't want to. Now, I personally have never seen this much snow this early. Gina says she has. I grew up three hours south of where we live right now, and Gina grew up in this area. So I don't know, I don't, I'm pretty sure this is not normal because I've been up here for 16 years now, and I've never seen it like this. Andy, what do you think, mister? Huh? You liking it in here? We have nine barred rock chicks or pullets, whatever you want to call them. And I'm going to say there are about half of them are roosters and half of them are going to be hens. On the barred rocks, I have some that are really white and then some that are darker. I'll have to do my research because I can't remember exactly, but the, it's vice versa. Either the white, whiter ones are the roosters or the darker ones are the roosters. I believe it's the whiter ones are the roosters. What are you doing? You want some chickens? They're not your chicken nuggets. No. You can't eat them. No. No. The new truck, plow, and tires sure are getting their workout already. <sighs> I'm glad we got all that for this season. Let's see if we can get this door open from the outside and see what they do. Little goats? Oh, is that a cool little goat door or what? <laughs> you like that? <laughs> you ready for a little bit of chaff, hey? We got block willow, so she don't get it. Nope, that's not yours, willow. You can have yours when we milk. We gotta teach you some patience, Miss Willow. You don't have very many, do you? Now, when it comes to feeding time, huh? I'm glad the goats like using the new goat door. They seem to like to be able to look out the big goat barn door. So I'm only going to use the little door and keep the big door shut when it's really cold out or windy. Today's 17, I think it's supposed to get up in the high 20s. So today they should be fine. Tomorrow only supposed to be 12 for a high. So we'll keep the barn door shut and we'll have just a little goat door open. So that way if they want to come and go, they can. And the barn should stay warmer for them. <coughs> Figaro is out there waiting for us. He probably wants to go back in the house. Uh, let's get some more hay today. And a few other things. See, so I wonder if I walk over on this side. Yep. They'll follow. I think we need to clean the snow off the roof. 
You all done eating? You done? No, nope, there's no chaff hay left. Nope. Hey, head out of the bucket. Go. Crazy goat. You ready to come back in the house? Huh? Is that what you're saying? Bring me in, bring me in. You coming? Coming, let's go. Let's see how this works. Take you for a sled ride. It's like a ram. fell in the snow. You okay? Let me get that off you. I hate when I get whitewashed by the snow. There. This is the first year I've had a snow rake too. I actually found a really good deal on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description down below. But always wanted one, never got one, but I figured this year, with all the little outbuildings, we better keep the roof cleaned off. Whoa! Better clear the snow off back here so it don't fall on us when we're collecting eggs. I must say, that apple tree is quite beautiful, all covered in snow like that. They're not coming out today. They said they weren't having it. There comes one checking it out. Me and Olivia will have to bring some hay out to him later. That we can put down over here. And that way they'll adventure out a little more. We're gonna be making some of our no need bread. We haven't made this in a while. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put a link in the description down below that'll take you to our website with the recipe. We're doing a double batch right now. If you want to get out six cups of flour, you're gonna need yeast, salt, flour, and water. Olivia's got the day off of school today, but mom still had to go to work, huh? Mm -hmm. Six. 
I'm going to need two teaspoons of salt. We use pink Himalayan salt. It's got a little bit better flavor. Yep, one. Two. The recipe calls for one teaspoon of yeast per half. We're not going to let it sit for as long. I believe it's 12 hours. So we have double recipes where we do two. Since I'm not going to let it sit for 12 hours, I'm going to add in one more teaspoon. So once it's all clumped together, we want it to look a little dry. Sometimes you have to add a bit more flour to get it to look that way. But once that's done, I'm going to cover it with a towel and let it sit. I'll let it double in size. Me and Olivia have a few things we had to go run out to town and pick up today. We got a few things we're looking for in here for a couple of different projects. Well, we struck out on our first thing. We'll try this one instead. Ready? Yeah. We made it back. Most of the stores we went to, we lucked out on quite a few things. We were trying to get, like I said, solar powered Christmas lights, the outdoor kitchen. We posted a photo on our Instagram account and Facebook page a couple days ago. The outdoor kitchen and just some snow scenery around here. And a lot of people in the comments left, hey, you need to get Christmas lights for them. We don't have power out to the goat bond or the outdoor kitchen, so I'm looking for a solar or battery operated. Better get some extra bedding for the animals. I bet the Kubota is like it having a place to stay out of the snow from. The plow has little feet pads on it that you keep a little bit lower. You see right here in the edge of the plow. So that way in the first few snowstorms you're not digging up everything. Well, I'm gonna take them out. I'm gonna raise them up so they're flush, maybe sitting up a little bit. But I'll keep them stored here so I don't lose the pads. But I wanna fix that so then that way when we're plowing we're not gonna keep building snow up on the driveway and road. I figured instead of lying in the snow, why not just move the plow? Yeah, that'll be good. Look at me, Pluto. You got a beard. You got a beard of snow. You silly dog. Silly, silly dog. Oh, you want to go in? What do you think you're doing? Napping? Yeah. It's almost as tall as me, so. Almost. Hope you don't get a headache. <laughs> See ya. Oh, you don't push me down the hill. <laughs> See ya. Hey, you gotta stop. We need to go back here. Hey, we we need to go over here. The goats are jealous. 
The goats are jealous. They want to ride. I want to go in here. Huh? I said, I want to go in here and all the hay I gave to Andy and the ladies that they didn't use will bring over to New York City. Oh, you're stuck. Oh yeah, because Emily caught him. Oh. It's gonna run you over. I'm not buying it. You can't trick me. Scare him out. Yes, we better go in and have some lunch. Yeah. I'm hungry, I don't know about you. I picked up a couple of cans of spray foam. We're gonna be building a thermos for our goats. I've never seen it one of these built before. I'm not saying they have been. I was gonna do it today, but we're not gonna have time, so soon we'll be building this. And I think it should be really awesome. We'll find out. Look at the snow coming down, Livy's. It's like we're in a snow globe. Yeah. And someone shook it really, really hard. Yeah, and somebody needs to stop shaking it. I just pulled out my phone and checked at the weather app. It said we're in a snow squall. Look at this. This is crazy. <laughs> it's really like somebody shook the snow globe. <laughs> Look at that. Boom. That's like white out conditions. Whoa. This is just gnarly. I'm glad nobody's gonna drive in it right now. Whew. I'll have to go look out the sliding glass door. This is nuts, guys, nuts. Look out the sliding glass door. Now we're in a snow squall. I know. You can't even see. I know. I just That's just crazy. You can't even see our property line. You can barely make out the goat barn. Look at all that snow that came down. It's covered. I just had a wind advisory come across the phone, so I figured, you know what? We better close the goat's big barn door and open up the small little goat door we made yesterday. Give me a stream when you're gonna send me down, okay? Wait, okay. Ready? Yeah. See ya! <laughs> Uh, give Pluto the string, maybe. Yay! Give Pluto the string, maybe she'll drag you. Made a pin. Oh! So it that's what that's for. That's what that's for, so it can't slide down. It's locked in place. Hopefully they can't get it and pull it out. <laughs> but I didn't show it good yesterday because Figaro had me all messed up. If you don't know what I'm talking about with Figaro, I'll put a link to yesterday's video right here. So, I used this board as my rail because it has a dado groove in it. So the tin 
can slide nicely up and down. Oh, you want some hay? You're covered in snow. And we have to get out through the hole. No, we don't. Is that what you wanted? You want some hay? Oh, it lets good light in still. Yeah. You gonna go out through the hole? I'm gonna try. All right, go out through the hole. Oh, You're crazy. I still can't get over all the snow. So early in the season. All right, you ready? It's now, it's been in here, I don't know, about six, eight hours? Yeah. Probably about eight hours. I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna make it into two balls. All right, now I'll divide it as even as we can. Okay. That's yours. We don't want to knead it, so we just want to get it in a pan. Fill with your pan. Do you still have hard things on it? Yep. Okay. Now we'll let him sit for another half hour. Yeah. After a half hour, I preheated the oven to 450. That took about another 30 minutes. All right, let's put our bread in the oven and let it bake for 30 minutes, and then we'll be ready. I think it's a good thing we got that goat door installed when we did. I bet the goats appreciated it today. Oh, they're coming out of it right now. <laughs> you probably can't see them. You girls like your goat door? Huh? You like your goat door? Yeah. Choke. You stand on it, it makes it hard to open. Go ahead. Go in your goat door. Go. One. Go ahead. Go. Give you a night snack. Nope. There you go. Take the peg out. See you girls in the morning. Boom. Well, this is where I'm gonna end today's video. I'm gonna go in the house and warm up by the wood stove and start editing the video. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us and I just hope we can encourage you guys to reconnect, whether it's reconnect with your family, with a, in front of a delicious meal, sitting at the dinner table, whether it's reconnecting with your passion and raising your own food, getting some animals, whatever reconnecting means to you. Oh, I just love modern homesteading. There's just so many things that I get to reconnect with, whether it's the animals living off the land, 
the beauty of this great creation we live on, reconnecting with the family. It's just so many things that inspire me and I hope you guys have the same. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow.